everyone and welcome to today's video hope you're all feeling fab um if you see any spots or anything we're just gonna just gonna ignore it pretend they're not there um i feel a bit natural today i thought you know what we'll do a natural video no makeup slightly no i'm not really regretting it what whatever um did my first covid test today oh yeah went questionably get your words out questionably okay like i was on facetime with my friend josh from college and i didn't have a clue i didn't have a clue there were swabs like this gel stuff like water vapor thing and i don't know if like i'm the only person that does this but anything i do that's remotely like close to what doctors do or nurses do i feel really clever so I, i'm doing i felt like i was a scientist i was like doing this and i was balancing it negative guys it's negative so yeah i mean the more i do it the more practice i'll get in applied for student finance what a ball ache that was bloody heck so i had to so my friend sent the link to me over snapchat so i clicked on there filled out this full form of everything like question after question and then it got to my bank details bit and my bank details are actually on my phone my sort code's not on my card weird i know so the only way i was going to get my bank details on there was if i had to go off and then do it all again so i was like brilliant but long story short didn't have to do that so that went okay um this week right before we get into the topic of today's video i'm just going to share my embarrassment with you so i wear glasses for mainly like reading or watching stuff or whatever but it's gotten to a point now where my sight if i see someone from a far distance i morph them into someone i know and it's not them like I couldn't be completely away from the person it is. Like it's it's just not them at all. And I get close to them. And I'm like, how did I think that was someone I knew? So I was at the bus stop, and there's this girl sat there, and I thought it was like a girl I grew up with. So I shouted to her, "Hi, are you all right?" She looked at me. I went, "Oh my god, it's not you." <laughs> I went, "Oh my god, I'm really sorry. I didn't have a glass under." And she sort of like laughed it off. But if someone said that to me, I, I, you'd be a bit taken back. Then I did it again in college so i walked into college i said i right oh you, you're gonna be like eh so there's this woman at the top of the stairs cleaner in cleaning clothes cleaner right i thought it was my teacher so i'm just because she's blonde so i'm looking at this woman and i'm staring at her and i'm like is that her is it i went hey are you kelly morning and she looked at me and she just went i i just don't know who you are and I went, oh God, it's, it's not, it's, oh bloody heck. And I, I went, I don't have my glasses on. But you know when like, I've got like word vomit, like I can't stop myself from talking. If I dig myself a hole, if I'm fucking okay, digging. Um, and she, she just laughed it off, it was fine. I did it again. Oh, I did it again. Um, to Lucy. She's walking towards me and I swear to God, right, I didn't know it was her because the mask was on. She was stood there like this. And I'm going, my mate, she looking at her over there. Why is she? Oh my God, it's you. So, oh, bloody heck. I couldn't believe it. So when it's actually the person who I know, I never realise who it is. But then when it's not the person I know, I think it is. That's just how my eyes work at the moment. Anyway, back to the video. So today on episode five, six, five or six, we are going to talk about body image, body confidence. Is it all right to wear a bikini, but not all right to wear lingerie and would you class that as the same thing personally i would and this is why so a couple of days ago i thought i went out of my comfort zone a bit because i was looking at influencers and yeah sometimes you shouldn't compare but i do look at them for inspo for my instagram because i'm trying to get my instagram out there get more likes like well that sounds really bad but what it is is i really want more followers more likes and whatever to so people come and watch my youtube because I, I don't know about you but if i go on someone's account and i see they've got a youtube channel straight away i click on it and i see what they're all about and i feel like if i get out there more and i put my fashion out there and i'm sharing my ideas with people and i'm socializing more on that platform and my, i'm just making a brand for myself people will come on the youtube and watch and i could share my opinions and help more people so a lot of influencers do quite saucy pictures classy but sassy um so i thought why not you know what why not i'm feeling confident and most girls do it for a confidence boost because if you're feeling a bit naff and you feel a bit like oh, 
like when you're in them, those type of clothes and stuff you do feel more confident like it's inevitable like you're gonna and i seen this idea of a bodysuit picture with like a cardigan and quite you know like subtle you know classy but sassy so i thought do it yolo whatever put it on the response i got was amazing my friends were so supportive like oh my gosh go girl da, 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 da. however there was one or two comments from i'm not going to say who it wasn't any of my friends it wasn't pe are their opinions important um questionable but it was from two people who i know slut and slag i got called so obviously straight away when someone calls you a slut and a slag normally i'm not bothered i'm like oh whatever like no ask me but then when you think about it it goes on in your head more and more and more and more you're like oh am i so the anger got to me a bit and i posted on my instagram story um how how much photo can one how much how much photo can how much backlash can one photo get and yeah it was really dramatic because i promise you now i haven't had a lot of backlash really it was two people but when you're angry and i was i was forming like i was a bit like how dare you oh that's always my reaction sometimes that's not the best thing to do because doing things like that and putting stuff on your social media and because you're just playing in the hands you just react to them if anyone ever says a bad comment here take it from me the best thing you can do is bite your tongue and kill them okay and just laugh it off like if you get called a name i know it's hard sometimes because it's very like you want to stick up for yourself and whatever but sometimes saying nothing is doing more because you're just playing in the hands um and i just thought to myself wow like if that affected me what do influencers go through because people like anastasia saffron barker molly may all these big name people all post lingerie photos and they all look amazing like a lot of young girls do it and a lot of influencers do it as well because shouting out brands and stuff personally i don't think that is bad at all because what's the difference between posting a lingerie photo and a bikini photo people might d disagree with me but what actually is the difference because a bikini photo you're wearing water right but half the time people take mirror selfies of bikinis and put them on so what's the difference in putting a bra and knicker photo on that isn't a bikini than that do you know what i mean and you know comments were thrown like e um saucy picture more like lingerie da, 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 da. and you know i laugh it off but then you think about it and you're like it does play on your mind it really really does especially words like slut and slag such powerful words and people who you're not expecting it not expecting people to say do you know what i mean so like when people saw those comments at you you don't expect it to come from them like the people who said to me i was like eh. and then you start overthinking does everyone else think that and it, it's just not nice and i questioned delete like i did question deleting it and i thought no no not at all because why should i like i wanted to post that photo i'm 18 years old i'm mature enough i know it if it'll affect my future or anything because i do get frightened posting photos like that does will it affect drama school will it affect my tv career you know all these things and i'm not stupid i know what i'm doing so that's why it's not explicit i didn't put you know boobs out or bum out or whatever like it was just a saucy picture do you know what i mean like as a lot of girls do because i was feeling confident why not then there's also this big debate normally right when i post stuff about my youtube channel or i post a selfie and a lot of my friends have said this as well so this isn't just me this is what my mates have said when we all put like selfies on us anything like that some boys swipe up yeah but it doesn't get a lot of male attention right soon as you but i'm not saying go get when i say this please don't take it the wrong way and be like oh my god i need to put a laundry for want to get male attention i'm not saying that i'm not but this is a debate people are saying when you when, get your words out when you put a photo on and it shows a little bit of shoulder or a little bit of leg boys are on it like that why is that why because some of the boys messaging me didn't message me when i used to put selfies on or like put stuff on about my youtube or anything like that so why because i've came out of my comfort zone and posted a photo like that why does that make it okay for them to mess what do you think i'm going to send the pictures 
do you know what I mean? Because a lot of boys are like that. And I spoke to my friends about it when I was like, has any of them like done that to you? And they said, yeah. Like boys who don't normally message them suddenly message them when they put a lingerie photo on or a bikini photo on thinking that they'll get something out of it. And that is the wrong way to go about things. If you're getting to know someone, you get to know them for them and like, you know, their personality and stuff. But then there's also a different side of think like a boy. Like, if you were a boy, what would you want to see? And, you know, there's that side of it as well. Which, it's hard because, do I agree with that? Yeah, partly, you know, because it's, it's right. It's called a thirst game. This is, this is what, I, I didn't do it for that. I didn't. I did it because, you know, people do it for different reasons. Feeling confident and getting yourself out there. I tagged a clothing brand in it. That's why I put mine out there. Because it was for Boohoo. But a lot of girls do it. It's like a thirst trap. And a lot of boys do it as well as a thirst trap. I put in like a, a shirtless photo on or whatever. And a thirst trap. Someone told me about it the other day. And I was like, what? Consistent putting that photo on to get attention. And what happened to like chivalry? And, you know, like meeting people normally. And just wanting to take someone out on a date. What if a boy came up to me and said, can, Sophie, can I take you out on a date? Hell to the yeah. Like, where are we going? Do you know what I used to say in school, right? People used to say, um, oh, you're meeting. What? Meeting? Meeting where? The park? What, what's all that about? Are you going out? Um, that's not the same thing, but like, I'd sort of say like, oh, he's like seeing each other. Like, he is a thing. Like, he's boyfriend and girlfriend. Meeting. Are you meeting? Oh, it used to make me cringe when people used to say that. I'd be like, eh? The talking stage? Oh, yeah, we're out, we're out the talking stage. We're just in the talking stage, and um, so that's why I'm messaging, like, other people. What? What's, what, what's the stages? Like, step one out of them. Step, do you know what I mean? Like, if you like someone and you talk to them, carry on talking to them, what's with all the stages? Like, I get confused, me. Like, I'm a bit like, if you... If you like talking to me, you like talking to me, like you don't have to wife me off, like it's just casual. Not like don't put nip, I don't like labels, I really don't like labels, and like do what you want, like message who you want, do what you want. And I changed my caption on Instagram because I was sort of being bougie, and I because I tagged boohoo in it. This is my friend Jade and Lucy's idea. It said boo because it was boohoo the brand, but instead we put boo who, like boohoo, who's my boo. If you, if you really want to know, no one. But that was just, it was quite a, like, a bougie caption. But now I've changed it to do what you want, wear what you want, be what you want. Because what are we? Like, actually do what you want and don't ever, ever. If you get one bad comment, like, like I do. There's part of me, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, sometimes I do get upset about it because you're bound to. Obviously, this is something that I'm so passionate about and, like... My hair is all like cottery at the top. I've just dried it and it's all like cottery. I brushed it though. So if you see me touching my hair, just ignore me. Um, but there's that part of like, or oh, if you love it, then you shouldn't let people get to you and stuff. But it's hard, like, especially strong words and nasty words like slut. I always, <laughs> when I say slut, I go to say slug. <laughs> Funnily enough, right, when the person called me a slut, it auto-corrected to slug. So every cloud had a little giggle. Um, but slut and slag. Excuse me. Like, how it... He's a big bombshell. Are you ready, guys? I was just about to slip something out there. But I don't know why I'm getting called a slut and slag when I waited a year to lose my virginity. Yes, it's right. So, don't... Like, even if you've slept with 10, 100 people or 50 people, if you wanted to do it, I'm not saying go sleep with people, but if that's you and you've, like, do you know what I mean? Like, don't ever, ever let people's comments get to you or anything. Don't ever justify yourself, because I found myself justifying myself. Like then, um, I waited a year, at least my virginity. So what if I waited a week? I don't have to justify myself to anyone. And when it comes to, you know, um photos and stuff like that like yeah but Saffron Barker does it and Anastasia does it so what like I don't have to justify myself like I'm 18 years old I want to put a photo on I'll put a photo on you know have that mindset people 
You're not going to be liked by everyone. You're not. So what's the point in trying to be liked by everyone? Life's too short and that's what I've came to the conclusion of. If people are going to take the piss out of you, let them laugh it off. Laugh it off. I know it's hard because it is. Because um, this is what I mean. I'm so hypocritical. I'm sat here preaching. Like, do what you want to do. But will I go off camera and overthink it more? Probably. But are we human if we don't overthink? No. We're not. We'd be aliens. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd have a little rant about that. Because it's something I'm very passionate about. Like, you are you and it's your life. And you should never, ever, ever let anyone tell you different. And do what you want to do. And body confidence, your law. Be you. But yeah, I hope you've took a little message from this and words really do hurt. And if someone, if one of your mates has took a photo like that and uploaded it, support them. Tell them how mint they are. Tell them how unreal they are because I'm so lucky that I've got the friends I've got. And like, and the people who said slot and slag to me, do I care? One ear, out the other. Block it out. Block it out. I know it's hard because it is like, but the more you tell yourself, Oh, I've been doing an algorithm, right? So the algorithm I'm bit oh, why do I keep stuttering? The algorithm I'm... The algorithm I've been saying is, right, repeat after me. No, I'm joking. I do not chase, I attract whatever belongs to me or simply find me. I swear to God, right, I've been saying that three times a day. And I've really started to believe it. Like I really have. It's so weird, but you do actually start to believe it. Um but yeah, so I hope you're all feeling well safe happy and yeah have a fab day and i shall see you in the next video bye